Hello? When the phone rings at Daisy Wade's house in Mobile, she's always on alert that the person on the other line could be a scam artist. So many seniors are scammed one way or another if they give out too much information over the phone. So when a man with a foreign accent called Wednesday morning asking about her Medicare benefits, she knew something wasn't right. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't give that information out on the telephone. He said, uh, well, Medicare's ruling is changing in January, and uh, we need to verify your name and your address with you. And he said, the information I have is correct, and I said, yes. And he said, and which bank do you bank with? Stephanie Knight, president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau in Mobile, says they've received a bunch of complaints about the same type of scam in just the last couple of days. And she thinks she knows why. We are in a political cycle. Uh, Medicare is a hot button. It's on the front page for a lot of uh, different reasons. But again, what happens in the scam world is things follow trends politically. Knight says scammers will often single out senior citizens as the victims. And that group tends to be more trusting. Uh, they have high values. They came out of a time where their word was their bond. Daisy Wade did the right thing by hanging up on that phone call. She's hoping this story will help others avoid becoming a victim of fraud.